Another week has come to an end and we get to see how our favorite movies are doing financially. This is a show that I like to call Box Office Highlight Reel. Essentially the ESPN for film fans where we break down the domestic weekend performers, how big the films are playing at a global scale, and what blockbusters have become successful and which ones have fallen flat on their faces. We have a lot to talk about so let's tear this thing open and see what's cooking. In first place this weekend, coming in on the high end of expectations is Barbie, bringing in a record-breaking $155 million, becoming the highest grossing opening of 2023 so far. In second place, also in its debut weekend, is Oppenheimer with an astonishing $80.5 million, coming in above last week's projections. In third place this weekend is Sound of Freedom with another $20.14 million, taking only a 26.2% drop. In fourth place and only its second weekend is Mission Impossible, bringing in only $19.5 million, dropping a hefty 64.3%. And rounding up the top five is Indiana Jones, dropping another 45.4% in his fourth weekend, with a $6.7 million. Now let's move on to check out how some of the bigger blockbusters are doing at the Worldwide Box Office. In first place is the Super Mario Brothers with $1.346 billion. In second place is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 with $843 million. In third place is Fast X with $704 million. In fourth place is Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse with $675 million. In fifth place is The Little Mermaid with $556 million. In sixth place somehow is Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania with $476 million. In seventh place is Transformers Rise of the Beasts with $427 million. In 8th place is John Wick Chapter 4 with $426 million. Coming in ninth 9th place is Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning with $370 million. Kicking Indiana Jones out of the top 10 is Elemental with $356 million. <laughs> Moving on to the profitability calculator, movie studios don't get all the revenue back. In fact, they only get two-thirds of the domestic take, and across the rest of the world the take is only around 45%. How we calculate profitability is we combine the production budget with the advertising costs. Advertising is hard to find numbers on, so if nothing is reported, it's usually half of the production budget but not greater than 100 million. We then compare the total spend with the studio take, and the sum of this determines our ROI, which is return on investment. Just to keep my sanity and save your time, I only include movies that are passing their 45 day theatrical window, and talk about the financials of the new movies just for fun. First off is Transformers Rise of the Beasts, with a reported budget of $195 million and an approximate marketing budget of around $98 million, that brings the total spend to around $293 million. So far the film has grossed $427.14 million worldwide, domestically the film has grossed $155.64, internationally the film has grossed $271.5, that brings our global take to $224.9 million. Against a $293 million spend, the return on investment is negative $68.10 million for Paramount Pictures. Having passed the 45 day theatrical window, the film is in the red. But I don't think this is a dead franchise just yet, with all the brand deals and Transformers being a toy brand itself, it might be too lucrative for Hasbro and Paramount to abandon. But they do need to pivot and try to get either those costs down, or make a product that appeals more to international markets again. Either way, after 45 days, Transformers Rise of the Beasts is indeed a box office bomb. Now for the new kids on the block, Oppenheimer has hit theaters and it had a production budget of $100 million and a marketing spend of $50 million. That takes the total cost up to $150 million. So far the film has grossed around $174.16 million worldwide. The film needs to gross around $300 million worldwide to break even on their investment. Universal Studios has an exclusive 90 plus day run for theaters ahead of it for this movie, so I have no doubt that Oppenheimer will be a wildly profitable movie in the weeks to come. And now on to the bedazzled box office darling Barbie, which had a budget of $145 million and an estimated marketing budget of around $100 million. That takes the total cost up to $245 million. So far the film has grossed $337 million, and its break-even point will be somewhere around $450 million. 
After a few years of box office failures, it looks like Warner Brothers has an unexpected savior in Barbie, because already grossing 337, they're gonna make profitability in no time. Next weekend, Disney's Haunted Mansion releases into theaters hoping to provide some counter-programming with an estimated weekend of 22 to 32 million dollars, but let's be honest, Barbie and Oppenheimer will dominate next weekend too, and I can't wait to talk about it and so much more on next week's box office highlight reel. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. My goal is to have an international group of film lovers that can come together and talk about their favorite niche in the whole wide world, movies. So without further ado, go down below and let me know what your thoughts are on the topic. I might not agree, but your opinion always matters and don't let anybody tell you otherwise.